everyone welcome back to Kirsty Collins Sketch and welcome to Happy Whip Weekend so for this Whip Weekend I've started a page in Fragile World look at this very mucky front cover it's been worked in quite a lot this week now um, it's my favourite Kirby Rosanne's book but I thought I would carry on with this page when I find it it's not that one it is the elephant page I've started so I actually let my partner pick a page again this time. I was like, flip through my book and pick a page for me. And he picked this one. So the other page he picked for me was the gorilla one. Where's my gorilla page? He picked the gorilla page for me to do, which was that one. And now we're doing the elephant. So it's a similar theme with the leaves, I think. All the trees I'm sort of doing with similar sort of greens. I decided to go for an easy background, so I used a soft pastel um, in the background on this one. But when I was looking for what whips I could do for my whip weekend, I came across a whip that I forgot was a whip. It's a book that's been shoved right to the bottom of my pile and I used it for a video ages ago. I think it was about five, six months ago when I've looked back and it was in the mouse guard and I've totally forgot that I had this whip. But basically the video that I did on this one was the background and it was how to do a sunset background using coloured pencils. And it was a coloured pencil background to look like a sunset sort of thing. And then I didn't actually finish the page. So I'm going to have to finish this at some point as well. Um, obviously I've just got the owl and the mouse to colour but the Derwent ink tanks work really nice in this book because the paper is really good so I might get my Derwent ink tanks out for that one I did use them on this page the ink tanks with pencil over the top and it came out really nice so I think I'll do the same for the other one but yeah I thought I'd continue with this page and then go back to the old whip um, whenever I've got time or it might be next week's whip weekend who knows so i'm just gonna continue with this page and have a little chitter chatter this what these videos are my more relaxed videos don't really talk about what i'm doing i just talk about what i've been up to during the week so yeah so as you all know i had covid a couple of weeks ago now or oh, the other week forgot how many days i think it's been nine ten days ago something like that and um luckily i tested negative now so i was able to go and get my hair done i was like yes i can leave the house um so i went for my hair done i'll put a picture of my hair it they always do it so nice don't they why can you never do your hair yourself how the hairdressers do it but yeah that's what i had my hair done so i had it refreshed um i had it the copper color last time but it fades really really quickly so it almost faded to like a strawberry blonde sort of colour. So I've had it refreshed now, so it's that really vibrant copper colour again, which I love. And um, they killed it for me with the straighteners. Something I still can't do. I've still not mastered how to do that. They make it look so easy as well, don't they, when they're doing it? It must have took about five minutes to do the whole of my hair. Curled it with straighteners. Now, if I even attempted to do that, it would take me about an hour and what I'd be left with would be um, crinkles. Is crinkles the right word? It wouldn't be curls, put it that way. I've tried before <laughs> and failed. I can curl it. I can sort of curl it a bit with my curling wand, but I can't get the back of my hair at all. It just ends up looking like a big mess at the back. But yeah, I've, I've never cut out to be a hairdresser myself, so that's why I like going having it done um so yeah i'm booting again for my roots redone and another refresh around the i think it was 4th of june i've booked in for because my little girl's holy communion's on the 11th of june so i thought if i book in for a refresh on the 4th of june that's the weekend before it uh then my hair will be all nice and fresh and obviously i'll to i'll take her for a haircut as well i'll take the girls my little boy needs an air cut actually as well. He's he's getting very long, very long. He, he does sort of look um look very cute with it though when it starts going a bit longer. It does. And we've just booked as well to take the kids to the cinema tomorrow. They're still off school, so I thought we'd best take them somewhere now. I'm allowed out the house. <laughs> so um. 
we've beat the cinema we're gonna go and watch a new film that's come out a new kids animation called bad guys it looks it looks really funny actually it was either that or sonic 2 but a couple of my girls didn't want to watch sonic 2 and i thought well you know we'll watch the what the majority of them want to watch i think they were, i think some of them are only coming for the popcorn and the coca-cola <laughs> It's the only time I let them have fizzy drinks when we go to the cinema because I don't buy fizzy drinks in, in the house for them. You know. I mean, all for the teeth and that. I do. We do get sugar free. If we do buy fizzy pop for ourselves, it's always the sugar free kind. But it's the acid in it, isn't it? What erodes your teeth. And that's what... Even I don't drink it anymore. The last time I went to the dentist, um, they said that's pretty much what's ruining my teeth. Even though it's sugar free, it's the acids in it or whatnot. So, um, yeah, ever since that appointment I had at the dentist, which was about, I think it was about four weeks ago now, I've not touched fizzy pop. I don't think. Apart from the one time I went to McDonald's. <laughs> Let's not talk about that one. But yeah, I've just been drinking sugar free cordial. So, that's what the kids have sugar free cordial. So my teeth are horrible and I don't want their teeth to go the same way as mine. Although my mum never let me use never let me drink fizzy pop as a kid either. It's only when I like you know when you get to the teenage age and you sort of go into the shops by yourself and you start buying the cans of pop by yourself. You know, that sort of age. But as a kid kid, yeah, I didn't drink fizzy pop. I do really think sometimes with teeth it comes down to genetics me i think you've either got good good ones or bad ones i mean obviously what you're eating and drinking adds to it but i do think there's a gen underlining genetic thing with teeth definitely i know i know a girl who's the same age as me she was in the same year at school and she absolutely loves sugary foods she's got such a sweet tooth she's always on facebook every weekend posting all these sugary treats that she's eating and i mean excessive amounts she's got the most perfect teeth she has the most bloody perfect teeth <laughs> it's so irritating i'm not jealous or anything honestly <laughs> it's strange isn't it but there we go i think genetics plays a role in a lot of things to be honest So I've just been going in with this dark, dark colour, which that's why I've got some padding behind this page because I am going in really hard with that dark colour. So yeah, we're going to the pictures watching that, bad guys. So hopefully they'll enjoy it. Looks funny anyway. You have to go, you have to go onto YouTube and search bad guys trailer. And it'll come up. It's got that, you know, the Bad Boys song. It's got that playing in the clip of it. Bad Boys for Life. We ain't going nowhere. Yeah, don't sing, Kirsty. Don't sing, Kirsty. Bad idea, bad idea, bad idea. Don't know why I do it. <laughs> but yeah. It looks really funny. I want to watch the new Fantastic Beasts um, that's come out. I think that comes out tomorrow. But obviously the kids won't sit through that. So me and my partner will have to go another time watching something like that by ourselves. Because my youngest kids will not sit through that. Will not. They're not interested in anything like that. We'll be lucky if they sit through this tomorrow actually. I normally take them to an autism friendly screening but it's ridiculous how they're only they're only once a month it's like it's not very inclusive when it's only a once a month thing because then you're having it's like the school holidays now and there's not an autism friendly showing because the autism friendly showing for that month has already been it was at the beginning of the month but you just don't want to get complaints, do you? I mean, 
They leave a shock, may be really good and sit really well. Or they'll want to get up and run around the flipping cinema. And it's like, you can try your best to control them, but sometimes if they're just in that, in that zone, they're just not sitting down for nothing. And then, you know, you might start getting complaints from other people in the cinema. Whereas when you go to the artisan friendly screening, everyone's in the so same boat. All the kids are screeching, making them happy squeals. All the kids are running around and nobody bats an eyelid. Nobody bats an eyelid. It's amazing. But obviously, only showing them once a month, it's not good enough, is it? I don't think it is. You'd think they'd definitely put one in in the school holidays. Like, you know, when you want to take them somewhere. But yeah. So we'll go there tomorrow and then I'm hoping it stays because it's quite sunny today. I'm hoping the weather stays nice and then we can go to our local duck pond and feed the ducks uh, one of the other days. Have a little walk around the duck pond. We have to be careful where we're going because it's, it's very hit and miss with my kids. <laughs> very hit and miss. I remember when when my five-year-old was two and a half, three years old. We took her to the Sea Life Centre. Um, and it cost a fortune. You can imagine with five kids how much it costs to get into these places for tickets. And she lasted all of ten minutes and we had to come out. We had to come out. She had the biggest meltdown. And we had to come out and we lost all that money. And my eldest daughter was like gutted because... We had to come out, you know. It's not nice. But yeah, I'm hoping as she's got older now, I'm hoping <laughs> that if we keep trying these little things. I mean, she was all right when we went to Knowlesley Safari Park. She was okay because we did half of it in the car and then half of it walking round. I don't think it was too over overbearing for her. It was like half and half. Oh, my hand's starting to ache now. It is starting to ache. Well, my partner woke up at five o'clock this morning to watch the uh, Formula One. <laughs> and then it, I think he watched it and then went back to bed for an hour or two. <laughs> if you can hear my daughter singing. If you have daughters, granddaughters who love the LOL dolls, there's this song, this LOL advert this song and they keep singing it over and over she's got a good little voice my little five-year-old when she wants when she wants it to be heard you can hear them bickering now that's all they've done all this half term easter break all they've done bicker i agree <laughs> I'll have to get my big tub of popcorn tomorrow at the pitch just keep them quiet won't I? I might smuggle some food in as well <laughs> it's so expensive at the cinema isn't it I think last time me and my partner went we got a popcorn each and a drink each and I'm not gonna lie I think it came to about 30 quid just for the popcorn and drink that weren't including tickets we'd already bought for the we'd already bought the tickets online yeah about 30 quid for two drinks and two popcorn god we've took out a lot and got cinema <laughs> for food and drink hmm. oh. oh no no i don't want that color i want this one next some of that into it. What 
what's your favourite Kirby book, guys? Any, any Kirby book, which is your favourite? This is by far my favourite. I only have this one and... Oh, I have Worlds Within Worlds and I have Animorphia. The Animorphia, I wasn't keen on at all. I only coloured one illustration out of the Animorphia. Just one. That's it. It's too much doodles for me and I hated those pages where it said finish. Like, it'd show you, it'd draw something and it'd say fill, fill the space up with your drawings of it and I thought, I don't want that from a colouring beak. I really didn't like it. And then the Worlds Within Worlds I liked more. It was more up my street. So I was really enjoying that one when it came out. But then when this one came out, Fragile World, I was like, that's me. That is me. I love it. I love all the animals in it. Absolutely love this one. So you might see a lot of people really loving on the Mythic World. It's in its release month now, so you might see a lot of illustrations from that, but I'll still be bashing this one. I'll be like, I want to finish this one. <laughs> so I'll just enjoy watching everybody's fantastic pages from the other book. And I'll carry on colouring this one. <laughs> this is my comfort zone. You get to that point though, don't you, with colouring beaks where you start colouring the beak and you're like, oh, I love that page, I love that page. And you do all your favourite, most favourite pages first. And then as it gets, you know, coming to the end of doing all your favourite pages, you're like, you don't know where to go from there. You're like, which page do I colour now? Because you've coloured all your most favourite ones. That's why I sort of said to my partner, I said, just pick, just flip through it and pick me a page. Because I thought, I might just do that now. I might just let him pick the pages. I risk him picking out one that I find tricky. Like, he might pick out a double page spread of wheels. And I'll be like, where do I even start with that? <laughs> but at least it's a challenge. It's a challenge and... You know, it's making you do something that you wouldn't normally do. You'd leave it behind, wouldn't you? You keep putting it off and putting it off with certain pages. And they never get done. But when you actually do them, you're like, yeah, I'm so glad I've done that now. I think it's just the water pages I get a bit. Not knowing what to do. Not knowing how to colour the water. Because obviously I don't want to do it in full pencil. Because it would take a small lifetime. And I'm a bit hit and miss with watercolours. Sometimes they go down nice, sometimes they go down all patchy and horrid. And then I think I've just ruined the whole background with that. <laughs> Near colour twos are the worst for backgrounds with me, they always go so patchy. I love them as well, those bloody crayons. I mean, those ruddy crayons. <laughs> don't say that word. <laughs> right. Going to go in with my lightest pencil in a second. Fill in all the white space. So what else am I doing? What else can I do with the kids, guys? They're them sort of kids, right? My kids are them sort of kids that just cannot help doing something they're not supposed to do with things. <laughs> like, normally, slime is banned in my house because they always do something obscene with it. And I thought, you know what? No. Stop stop being this mum that's like, everything has to be clean, everything has to be tidy, don't be worried about it. So I got them some slime. What did they do? They threw it at my roof. They threw it at my ceiling. So now in my dining room, I've got slime stuck to, stuck to the ceiling. Pink slime. And I'm like, guys, just... Why? Why, guys? There was colouring the other day doing some lovely pictures. Lovely, lovely pictures. And I thought, oh, aren't they all colouring nice together? Absolutely. You know, so chuffed that they was getting on. No one was arguing. They was all looking at each other's pictures and being really interested in what the other one was doing and so forth. 
and then it was about half an hour before bedtime so I was starting to tell them to tidy up the pens and stuff they was in the bedroom doing it on the floor like colouring on the on paper but you know all sat round in a circle on the floor and I said come on it's nearly bedtime now um, let's tidy all these things up so I'm tidying all the things up and my son had gone and got under his blanket under his bed and um, he was hiding under the cover and, I, and I'm sort of playing with him going are you hiding from me are you getting in your bed you know all the rest of it and then I pulled the blanket from over the top of him and he'd smuggled a biro pen under his bed under his bed cover and he'd drawn on his bed sheet. There was biro all over his bed sheet. And I just thought, why? <laughs> why? Why would you? So yeah, I have that them types of children. This is what I'm dealing with. And he also drew on what's your draw on my daughter's court? as well with a bar open and it won't flip and come off it's it's a raincoat as well so it's that sort of material and it just nah, it just bar all comes off nothing does it and everyone says oh get, get some alcohol on spray some air spray on spray this on no don't work don't work guys <laughs> i should just ban everything in my house pens slime play-doh just have no fun <laughs> because <laughs> the little rips anybody else's kids like that honestly but because of obviously my eldest is 13 my youngest is four so i've had like 13 years of kids drawing on my walls drawing on my furniture oh i'm so over it so over it there's no more babies coming in this house by the way <laughs> five is truly enough truly enough so i'm just excited to get to that stage now where they're not wrecking my house sort of thing you know I don't want to wish the younger years away but I sort of want to have a nice house now I think 13 years is a long time to have a trashed house for and um yeah <laughs> and then you'll all be telling me that grandkids will be coming along and trashing it then so I'm not really gonna get a break am I I know I know what you're thinking looks quite nice doesn't it when you've got those um dark tones in it'll all come together in the end and i'm thinking i know my background's very basic like but i am when i've colored it all at the end when i can be bothered i'm gonna get some darker shades and put some shadows into it so maybe a, a darker pink or a pinky brown and put some shadowing around just to give it something a bit extra <laughs> And I finally finished my colour along. Woohoo! It was slightly starting to irritate me, I've got to admit. It's just a long, long process filming it all. And I didn't want to sound like I was having a bit of a moan on my last on the end of my last video. I was having a bit of a moan, I do apologise, but it, and it came across I think when I watched it back I thought, God Christy, you sounded like a bit of a whinge bag. Um but basically it was just that the views had really dropped on by the time I got to part three, part four, part five of this colour rolling, the the views on it had just gone. <laughs> and I thought people are obviously fed up of seeing this now, Kirsty. I'm fed up of doing it and I think everyone was fed up of, of seeing it to be honest. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, maybe maybe moving forward, maybe I won't do um a full colour long anymore. Just do little bits little bits and I think that people will you know stay tuned if it's little snippets rather than oh no she's not doing that page again <laughs> like page 10 million uh, per 10 million and I don't think people could get hold of the book as well and I have to be careful what I'm saying now because I could have sworn that I replied to one of the comments because someone said I can't get Anastasia's books on Etsy anymore and I could have sworn I replied to the comment saying you know I think it's got something to do with Etsy banning Russian sellers I could have sworn I typed it and sent that message and then it disappeared and I thought are the powers that be above YouTube 
are they deleting comments about anything to do with that and I thought I best watch what I'm saying now because it could could very well either I've not pressed send either I've typed my message out and failed to press send or it has been deleted by the powers above so you know you have to watch what you're saying but I think it's they may have put a band on Ru on Russian sellers basically and I think that's why you might not be able to get hold of them books I mean I don't know I'm not 100% don't take my word as gospel I'm only assuming let's just put it there and I'll leave it at that <laughs> I'll leave it at that I'm not going to comment on it anymore in case I get myself into hot water who knows I don't know that's it all I have to say guys <laughs> I'm gonna do this last little bit, I think. Just this little bit, little bit. I have gone over a few of the um, branches by accident as well. I think there was a tree, little tiddy witty tree branch there, but I've gone over with green. And somewhere else I did it as well. Oh, I can't remember. I did it somewhere else as well though, but I think brown will go over it, won't it? Like a dark, a dark brown. Don't know. I keep looking at the elephant as well, thinking, should I get the ink tents out, do an ink tents out on that, on the elephant? Because I think it'd be quite nice to just base it all. Um, or even a watercolour, just to base it all first and then put the shading on top. I think that might be easier. But I don't want this. This paper's quite good, but I'm bad with water. I'm bad with putting too much water down and I always end up with... Um, I risk running... That's not the words I'm looking for. I run the risk of getting pilling on the um, page by using too much water and I don't want to ruin the page by having lots of pilling. That's what I'm looking for. So I did something for the first time ever yesterday as well when I put the part five of my colour along up. I did a, I scheduled it and then I posted it as a YouTube premiere. Um, so that's when you can live chat with me at the same time as the videos playing sort of thing and nobody came and said hi I was just there by my little self like I put a hi hi and then I was like yeah I'm just in my own little pet here <laughs> oh it was so embarrassing I'm like yeah I'm in my own little petty boop boop there we go but I think it's because I didn't schedule it for long enough. I sort of didn't give people the chance to pop on. I put a long post on Instagram saying, I'll be over on a premiere in five minutes. <laughs> I'm like, you really not give people enough time to get over there, have you? Because, like, at least give them an hour. <laughs> an hour notice, two hours notice. I just got excited. I thought, oh, this is something different. Because I hadn't seen that button before when I've put a scheduled thing on. I haven't seen that you can set it as a premiere. And I thought, oh, go on, I'll have a go at that. I've not done that before. I was like, you really didn't think this through, Kirsty, did you? No, I didn't. Didn't think it through. Since colour me stress free, give me that white paint pen as well. I've been wanting to put white paint pen on everything. Everything I tell you. It's such a good pen. I'm not even joking, it's brilliant. She's been keeping a secret, that girl, keeping them pens to herself. <laughs> Honestly, the brilliant which one is it? It's this one what she gave me. Um no I have put them in the description of a few of my videos lately it says soonest on here but when you go on to amazon and search for them they don't say that they just say acrylic paint pens in a set um but i'm assuming they're the same ones but they're brilliant they're brilliant they're like a posca pen but they're so much better i've used posca pens before and they're nothing like this this is amazing amazing but i'm gonna leave it there for my happy whip weekend we're gonna leave it at a half an hour video i think i've done too many long-winded videos this week 
So I thought, little short one, let you know what I'm planning this week and what I've been up to last week. So yeah, please do hit the thumbs up. Really, really helps me guys. And comment down below, that really, really helps as well. Even if you don't want to talk, just pop me an emoji down there. Just pop me a love heart or a smiley face or a, I don't know, a monkey with covering its eyes. I don't know. Whatever your favourite emoji is. <laughs> and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.